All right, we rolling. Cool. Hello, this is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is The Art of Letting Go. Letting go, letting go. That sounded so good. <laughs> hey! It's the first time I didn't say that, so that's good. That's what's up. That's what's up. That works. That works for me. So, yeah. How you feeling today? I'm feeling good, man. i uh been working a lot, a lot, a lot. But um, I feel good, though. I feel real good today. How you been? How you doing? I'm feeling really good today. Um, you know, this is a special day for us to record on a Sunday. Yeah. Um, it's church for me today. I didn't go to church today. So yeah, this man. Is this is about to be church. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> but no, um, and just right now when I was thinking about Sunday, Sundays used to be a very weird day for me. Like, okay. even in college and like growing up and shit, I never really liked Sundays. Okay. Um, it was a very lonely day. Got you. Got you. But, uh, yeah, today I wanted to talk about practicing self-love and maintaining self-love because okay. uh, I know for myself, I definitely was in a place where I didn't really love myself and I got to a place where I started loving myself. Yeah. Um, but sometimes those, those negative thoughts of myself still come up mm -hmm. and I never really thought till recently that i have to maintain feeling good about myself that's real that's real um and it was a challenge but i found ways because i create ways to do it mm -hmm. and um yeah it was, it was it was a pretty interesting week for me um okay so when you say self-love um what do you what do you mean by that? I mean feeling good about yourself mm -hmm. um positively affirming yourself nice okay um you know because a lot of times when I'm not affirming myself, I'm second guessing myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know so like we talked about last week, finding that trust within ourselves, I think that for sure has been helping me. As far as feeling good about myself and loving myself. Okay. Yeah. When you, um, when you, the first thing that comes to mind when I think about self love is really knowing yourself um, to the point of like when you start to have the negative thoughts, like, or something bad happens in life, to, re to really be able to center yourself in the knowledge of who you are. I definitely agree. Um, and so when I hear that, you know, and I think about the practice of self-love in itself, and you definitely have to set it up. Like, it's just like self-care. Like, you have to set it up throughout your day to where, you know, it, it's crazy, man. Like, you're not really taught this stuff. No, you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know that I had to practice, like you're saying, practice self-love and practice self-care. I'm so used to just doing the hustle and bustle of everyday life that... Sometimes I don't check in. Yeah. And um, so I think it's important that you do set up certain things and are being one thing. Um, and even if it's like a reminder to, to text somebody or call somebody just for that interaction, you know, because sometimes I know that when I used to really isolate myself a lot, um, once I stopped, the human connection, the one on one connection was really weird for me. Yes, um, because I was like, I don't really know how to do this anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't practicing, and it's crazy. Like I'm a social person. I consider myself to be an extrovert. Uh, I'm an introvert sometimes, but extrovert. Um, and so, getting back into an environment like that and not really knowing how to operate was like, yo, you were bugging for a minute. Yeah, yeah, man. It's um, self care is definitely or self worth, or self everything. <laughs> is uh is amazing and it's and it's almost like a another chapter of life experience in life loving myself while interacting with loving someone else at the same time yeah or you know it's 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 very interesting yeah definitely even even like pursuing pursuing passion with love for yourself as opposed to pr pursuing the passion to escape 
you know Man. so even the way i create now is a little different like you know i when i was when i was doing music before i felt a lot of pressure mm-hmm. in what things had to be yeah and now you know i kind of just create what i need you know like i said i felt very low about myself so i recorded myself giving myself affirmations that's dope because i needed to hear it in my voice that's dope because like doubting myself doesn't sound like me mm. it doesn't sound like my voice that's anymore. real that's real so you know that's what's up um i was thinking about something but that what you just said completely like shatter whatever i was thinking about <laughs> uh like the 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 <laughs> for real because he was like it doesn't sound like myself anymore i was like yo that was like a proverb but um that was deep and i'm just you know thinking about being doing things in purpose and really being about what that purpose is I don't remember. Yeah. I wanted to make another point, but I can't remember what it is. So I'm trying to like come it's up with something right now. It's all good. But uh, uh, but one time, can we thank God on this podcast? Because I really just wanted to thank God. For oh, absolutely, that moment. man. Hey, bro, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. That, that's <laughs> that's definitely uh, always. We can always think. We can start the podcast off every time. Thank God, I'm cool with that. But um, I I want to highlight that too because you know a part of this is the art of letting go, and I feel like I need to let go of some of this weight. <laughs> I got I'm getting kind of hefty out here <laughs> in these streets. That's funny. So, um, but that's a part of self love too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, really practicing healthy things in life that you just don't necessarily feel like doing. Yeah, like going out and doing. I know you're doing yoga on the beach right now. Yeah, and I'm man. doing yoga um, and different at different times. But I really want to start getting back into the gym because that's really a part of who I am. Like being an athlete and being active and doing all of that stuff like i really enjoy that i enjoy the competitive the competitive aspect of getting out and doing stuff like that and yet i'm like oh i'm tired or i don't have the time and it's like if you want to do something you got to make the time to do it absolutely yeah you know what i'm saying and so that's really what self-love is about like sometimes saying no yeah like i can't do it because I got to do me right now. Like, right. And that's just as simple as that. Like, not even having to come up with no crazy excuse, but just really doing you and being okay with it. Man, I definitely appreciate everything you just said right now, for real. Because uh, it's funny. I'm starting to get a wrinkle on my forehead. Okay. And I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm getting old. But it's like, fuck that. Right. Like, that's what I'm supposed to do. Absolutely. So I'm embracing that shit. That's you what know, I was going to say. Embracing all of that because it's like mentally I still feel in my 20s. Not not Absolutely. as far as like immature wise, yeah, yeah, but like yeah. my spirit still feels very young. Absolutely. That's what I was going to say. The, my, my other point was embracing. You were talking about feeling low. And I think that it's also okay to accept that you're feeling low. Yeah. And to be okay with that. Like I know... Um, you know, in the in the church, sometimes we're taught that you know oh, I'm more than a conqueror, and um, I can do all things through Christ. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so we might feel a certain way, but we don't allow ourselves to feel that way because I am I'm an overcomer. Like I always got to yeah. overcome. And it's like sometimes you just have to allow yourself to feel however it is that you feel. Like not like go through it in order yeah, to overcome. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, man. Because sometimes it's like. I'm, I don't feel like a conqueror right now. Like, yeah. nigga, I ain't trying to go to war with this. I just, <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, I just want to, I just want to be how I am, like, and right. be okay with that. Like, I don't want to be how you doing today, brother. Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. Like, <laughs> I don't feel like that. Like, <laughs> I don't. Hey man, I feel low. <laughs> right? Like, like, do you really want to have a conversation? Because we can talk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I think it's okay for people to feel how they feel and allowing themselves to feel like that. Like, yo, I'm having a bad day today and that's just what it's going to be. Like, and I, and I think knowing those things that help you positively, like right. for me, going to the beach is something I truly enjoy. Mm-hmm. So that's always a time for me to reflect and check in with myself, recognize where I'm at and continue to move. And something I learned that recently I thought about was Going to therapy, I used to say things out loud. That was one thing that helped me, being able to talk and say what's going on in my mind yeah, out loud. Yeah. So, you know, that 
that's kind of what I try to use this podcast for because it, it helps me to say shit out loud. Right, and right. Even looking outside of this, when I'm at home, I have to just start saying things out loud Absolutely. for me to hear it and be like, nah, man, that sounds right or that doesn't sound right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because the mind is tricky. The mind is so <laughs> tricky, bro. The mind will play the mess out of you, bro. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because I've, I've been lately, I've been saying, I don't know if I said this on here before or not, or if it was just with me and you, but I was talking to a couple of my boys and I was like, bro, I'm amazing at everything that I do. Yeah. Like, I'm amazing. at If I put my mind to it, it's going to be dope. Like, that's just what's going to happen. Yeah. And I really believe that about myself. And so I've been telling them, telling my every time I, I start to get a negative thought or I just look at myself and I'd be like, bro, you're amazing. Like, do you know That's how amazing up, you are? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I really have to continuously tell myself that. Um, and I really believe it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's not like I'm just saying it to try to be like, oh, I'm trying to get out my funk. Like, I really believe I'm amazing at whatever it is that I do. And um, I just really want to live in that and continuously remind myself of who I am. Like, yeah. Alpha, you're amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Alpha, you're amazing, bro. Like, this song is dope. Like, this is this over here. I had to do a presentation this week. Um, at a law office and I was pre I was presenting on like trauma informed care and resiliency and all of this other stuff and I was real nervous about it at first because uh, they're lawyers you know what I'm saying like yeah. sometimes the room can be a little stuffy like in a, in a setting like in a corporate setting like that but I went in there and I beasted that presentation that's what's you know up what I'm and I know I did like yeah. I felt good about it while I was in there um, I could tell that they were learning something because that's my biggest thing like I hate to go in and share some information and it just feel like it's just like whatever. Yeah. You know, I just I want people to take away something from it. And so I walked away from that. Like, so I'm just like picking these little these little points of I beasted that. I beasted this. I don't feel like working today, but I went to work and I did it. Like, that's all a part of self-love and self-care. And you yeah. really have to those small things that don't seem like much to nobody else have to be a big deal to you. Yeah, man. Have to be a big deal to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we moving on up. Like right. y'all can't see it, but we got like lighting up in here now. <laughs> you feel me? Like we, you know, it's like stuff is starting to change and stuff is starting to shift. And I think it's all because we we both, because I can tell in, in in your conversation too, like we both feel a certain way about ourselves, regardless of those low moments. Yeah. And overall, it's like I feel good about myself. I think you have to also surround yourself around people that are trying their best to feel the same way. Right. You know what I mean? Because I think we all, to a certain extent, feel how we do about ourselves. But at least we're making that attempt mm -hmm. to try to see the best in ourselves. And I know you, I know a lot of the people I surround myself with are working at that. And they affirm me. They affirm themselves. And it's like I'm able to do the same and give it back as well. Absolutely. And it's good to have that that energy around you like in a way that so you have a good energy. And inadvertently, I'll get it because it's like, man, he feels so good right That's now. That's real. Like, I just want to be so. Surround yourself with positive people, man. Like if your if your circle is just consistently negative, you're gonna be a negative person. You know what I'm saying? It's like when they talk about surround yourself with millionaires and you'll become a millionaire. Like yeah, man. it's it's about like you have to be wealthy with your within yourself before the money, before anything else. You got to be wealthy within yourself. So I really encourage anybody who's listening, anybody who's watching, to really. Like, take heed to that and really figure out what you need to do for your own self-love and your own self-care and really just walk in that and accepting the fact that you not always go feel it. But Yeah, man. It's the truth. It's the truth. I'm I'm amazing, and that's the truth. I don't always feel amazing. But I, I think the more you work at it, just like anything else, because if, if you thought this way for 30 years, it may take you another 30 years to unprogram that. That's real. But if you if you working at it, it can happen real fast. It can. It can. I was, um, I, uh, this is getting into a lot of different stuff, but I was <laughs> doing this. Uh, so the presentation I was doing was talking about this uh, this well, well-being triangle, and it talked about how the mind and relationships and your brain kind of all interact with one another and how depending on what you allow to like what you allow yourself to see and what you allow yourself to hear and the relationships that you have with people and how you treat your body all of that interacts with one another about how you feel about yourself and they all affect each other yeah. equally you know what i'm saying like it's a triangle so they all affect each other equally and it's like you have to take care of every aspect of yourself yeah because if absolutely. you let one thing kind of go like this this stomach i'm starting to get 
Yeah. <laughs> I let my health go a little bit where I used to be heavy in the gym. It can affect the way that, you know, because now I'm looking at my body like, oh, it's not the same as it used to be. And it's making me feel some type of way. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, well, they're going to do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, take care of yourself mentally, relationally, physically, emotionally. Like, all of that stuff has to be on purpose. It's not going to, it doesn't that's just real, happen man. for you. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, yeah, man. That's all. I'm, I'm off my, uh, my professor. Man, that's all good. <laughs> Uh, my professor high horse um but yeah man is there anything else you wanted to kind of tie in all of that nah man that that really brought me a lot of peace that's what's so up I, I definitely appreciate that that's what's up man that's what this is here for and i'm glad you brought it too because i uh i definitely have been on myself about certain things lately um but it's good to you know reflect yeah definitely good to reflect and have some introspection on uh on who you are so uh, where can the people find you, brother? You can find me at Just Mike Brown on all social media. You can find me on all streaming platforms, Mike Brown, music. Hey. Uh, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me on Alpha Presents, A-L-F-P-H-A underscore presents on Instagram, Twitter, on um, Facebook. It's Wayne Michael. Um, I've decided that I am sticking with Alpha. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm stick with Alpha. The, the the meaning behind the name is is what I want to embody. So I'm gonna stick with that. But um, and then you can find us on the Art of Letting Go podcast on SoundCloud, on uh, Apple TV. Um, no, is it Apple TV? YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. It's new. Yeah, it's new. It's new. Uh, yeah, on YouTube, not Apple TV. Uh, and uh, yeah, man. So we out here. Doing our thing. Um, and we appreciate y'all. If y'all have anything y'all want to share, uh, if y'all have certain like self care or self love techniques that y'all kind of engage in and y'all want to share, please let us know. Hit us up. Um, title, Spotify, holla at us. Um, yeah, man. So, yeah, it's been Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is The Art of Letting Go. Letting go, letting go of this weight. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs>